there's a new compilation album from one of the greatest melodic hard rock bands of all time, Magnum. The album's entitled Dance of the Black Tattoo. Welcome to Bandbond, Magnum guitarist and founding member Tony Clarkin. Hiya, uh, yeah. you all right? <laughs> great, great, great talking to you. You released another compilation in 2017 called The Valley of Tears, The Ballads. How come that yeah. album needed a companion? <laughs> Yeah, I've got to say that uh, it really wasn't uh, any of the band's idea or my idea to to do this record. Um, uh, I don't think it was even uh, our idea to do the ballad one either, to be quite truthful. But anyway, uh, Oli Hahn from SPV, uh, the label manager, suggested it to me and sent me a a list of songs that he thought would be good on the... uh, the album, like a, a sort of more rockier, heavier sort of uh, album. He said, look, he said, you did the ballad one, uh, uh, you know, like last year or the year before, wherever it was. Uh, he said, now do this one that, you know, that is uh, rockier and heavier, as I said. Uh, um, so I looked at the tracks and um, it, it sort of put a good uh, selection of tracks there. Uh, I, there were just a few that I, I changed, but uh, then you know we, I spoke to Bob about it, and he, he thought it was a good idea. So uh, especially the situation as it is uh, these days, you know, the, there's like a big gap, and we couldn't play and all that sort of business because of the pandemic. So um, it seemed like a good idea. So you know, we did it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I've listened to it, and I think it's really good. It sounds so, you know, vibrant and heavy, and you know, you're a hard rock band on this album. <laughs> yeah, great. I'm glad you said that. That's <laughs> that makes me feel good. <laughs> Any songs or recordings that you're extra pleased with uh, to have made it to the album? Well, I, I must admit, uh, I I really do like uh, No God or Saviour, the track. Um, I just think it's it just see really works great for me. Uh, I like Born to Be King. Uh, I think that's sort of pretty good too. Um, uh, and I always like Christmas on Christmas Day. Um, I can't remember whether it's it is an edit, isn't it? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I think it's a radio edit. I I, I, pre- I prefer the longer version to be quite true. It's uh, you know it gives you a chance to relook at songs and um, there were a couple that the, I think it was the vocal really that, that was a bit too quiet and I thought okay we, we, while while we're doing this we might as well push it up uh, push the vocal up a bit more and um, that's that's what I did I just went through all, all the tracks and anything I thought oh you know um, oh. wasn't sort of up to par um but i mean it really was only a, a few i think it was a few vocal things to be quite true to oh. um i'd either you know, like push them up or pull them back whatever it was <laughs> uh, perhaps a silly question but i can imagine the rush you felt releasing your first album back in 78 how would you describe okay. the rush you feel when you release an album today uh it's different, obviously. In, in 1978, uh, when we released our first album, like the next day, I thought uh, I would feel different and the world would change and uh, all this business. Of course, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, these days, um, I uh, and I still get um, excited uh, uh, when a record comes out. Um and I'm always pleased when, um, you know, we meet people on the road and things and they they sort of say, tell me their tracks that they like and all this sort of stuff. And, and it makes you feel good in the sense that um, obviously I write songs for myself and for Bob. And it's nice when other people, you know, know what I'm talking about and... Uh, and like and like it, you know. So, uh, yeah, I still get a big kick out of it. Mm. Uh, 
do you own all the Magnum records, including, you know, the vinyl singles and the, you know, VHSs and stuff? Are you a collector of Magnum? Uh, not really. Um, normally what happens is we do an album, we go and then we tour, which takes over quite a long time period. Um, and then uh, I start writing the next album. This time, obviously, it's different. I've already written uh, the next album huh. uh, purely because, you know, we're all sitting around doing nothing uh, because we couldn't play because of the pandemic and that. Uh, so uh, I actually, I've got a studio um, in my house and uh, I wrote it all, you know, and sort of, said to Bob, let's go into the studio and uh, as in we, we went into like a commercial studio and uh, started to put tracks down and uh, it all came together really quickly and I was uh, very pleased with that. haven't got a title for it yet. I don't think it'll be around until over a year. It'll be, it won't be next year. It'll be the year after, I think. Huh. January, the year after. <laughs> 